All right, thanks for joining this video. The active weather continues, but now we transition to a significant weather pattern change. We're going to talk about the cold weather for this weekend again, following the significant atmospheric river and what to expect. Here's a recap of the precipitation over the past 48 hours. Most of this occurred on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Widespread heavy rain. Most of this rain was a 12 to 24 hour period. A few locations in the mountain had around 10 inches. All the purple areas are anywhere from three to seven inches of rain. Even in the deserts, the spillover was significant with several locations over three inches in the Coachella Valley. And even in the metro areas, we saw three to four inches of rain. Here are some of the impacts on the left hand side. I won't go through all of them, but I do want to point out we broke some daily rainfall records such as Palomar and Palm Springs. So even though places like Palomar Mountain, Ramona see quite a bit of rainfall, it was very significant for a 24 hour period. Water flows in the rivers were significant as shown on the left hand side. Most of the major rivers reaching flood stage. Numerous creeks were flooded. Their highways were impacted widespread, such as Highway 18, 74, 76, 111, 243. Uh, and those roads are still closed um, as this video is being produced. At least a couple of those roads, such as 243 up by Idlewild. Very significant precipitation across our region. How are we doing so far this year? Well, we updated this map last week and here's another update and we are now looking at about 130 to 175 percent of normal. So about one and a half times normal values for this time of year for precipitation. In fact, many locations across the southwest part of California have now reached their seasonal average, including San Diego. All right, what's the pattern change I'm talking about? Well, the atmospheric river, the tropical jet stream is still active to our south. It comes up a little bit Friday night and Saturday morning, but the big L that is going to take over. That's a large, cold, deep, low pressure system that's going to gradually drop towards our region this weekend. That'll bring the lower snow levels. Here's the weather pattern we're talking about. We have three different systems coming through. One Friday night and early Saturday. That'll tap the remnant part of the atmospheric river, but uh, rainfall rates will not be anything close to what we saw on Thursday. Another system comes in Saturday night. This one's drier. And then finally, an even colder system digs across Southern California. So this looks to be a little more unstable with a little heavier rainfall and heavier snowfall for Sunday night. Finally, another system. Well, it looks like another system comes in late on Wednesday and more likely impacting us on Thursday of the middle of next week. And it's also cold. All right, here's the precipitation forecast for Friday into Saturday. We don't expect big amounts, but where conditions are already saturated, a little bit of rain will cause runoff and aggravate some of the ongoing efforts to repair roads and some of the flooding that's going on. So here are the precipitation forecasts, mostly along our coastal slopes in blue there. You could see some half inch precipitation forecasts. Um, and then along the metro areas, you can see generally a tenth to maybe three tenths of rainfall. How about the wind? We do expect some windy conditions, uh, especially over the mountain ridges as shown here. This system's coming in from the north, so different direction to the wind, but nonetheless still some gusty westerly winds across those red shaded areas in our mountains. Snowfall. So for Friday night into Saturday morning, this is a big change. We do expect snowing down to 4,500 feet as shown here, and you can see accumulations at our ski resorts of several inches, and even our mountain towns of one to three inches. That includes Mount Laguna, Palomar, Big Bear, Wrightwood, Idlewild. So if you have plans to go up in the mountains, do expect some fresh snowfall by Saturday morning. Now another system comes in uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning. This looks to be 
week and mainly the San Bernardino Mountains and the San Diego Mountains affected, look for about one to two inches of snow above 4,500 feet. Keep in mind, snow levels will be low with this system Saturday night and Sunday morning. All right, how about the storm number three, Sunday night, uh, really starting Sunday afternoon, going through Sunday night. This one's a little bit wetter, stronger, a little more unstable. And you can see here that widespread precipitation is expected to be about a quarter to half with some places in San Diego County getting up around an inch of water. And keep in mind, this is colder, so we can convert that into snow for a lot of places above 3,500 feet. Here's a look at the snowfall map that's expected and you can see due to the drier nature, the colder snow, we can see in the San Bernardino Mountains several inches of additional snow even to the town level. Now, that includes Idlewild and that includes all the way down in San Diego County. Big travel weekend so if you do on planning uh, to make some travel across the mountain ranges, expect snow levels from each storm to be a little bit lower with the lowest snow levels Sunday night and accumulating snow affecting uh, Interstate 8, Highway 78, Highway 74, maybe even a little bit of accumulation of the Cajon Pass as shown here, which is I-15 going up into the San Bernardino Mountains. Total precipitation from all three of these storms um, looks to be generally one to two inches along the coastal slopes, locally up to three. For the metro cities and valleys, look for about a half inch to at the most up to around an inch, uh, probably northern San Diego County doing the best and possibly parts of the Inland Empire. A little bit of spillover in the deserts. Here's the grand summary. Um, really a weather pattern change from tropical moisture we saw on Thursday to three different cold weather systems. Snow levels low, uh, even lowering Friday night down to around 4,500 feet and then really crashing for Sunday night down around 3,000 feet. The heaviest snow and precipitation looks to be Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. Snowfall of two to five inches of fresh snow Friday night, early Saturday. Uh, a trace to three inches Saturday night, and then a bigger, heavier snowfall above 4,500 feet uh, Sunday night. So keep in mind with that storm number three though, snow levels will be at their lowest point down to about 3,000. Any of the heavier rainfall rates look to be on Sunday and combined to the coastal slopes where we could see a, a quarter to half inch per hour with some of that steadier rain. Most precipitation uh, will be anywhere from one to three inches on those coastal mountain slopes and foothills, the valleys and coasts, the cities, half inch to an inch, uh, less than a quarter in the deserts. Also note cold temperatures. So uh, travel will be tricky. Snow-packed roads, icy conditions with the snow melts in the day. Also frosty conditions. Um, a little bit Sunday morning, but certainly Monday morning. Our next storm looks to be late Wednesday into Thursday. Cold with low snow levels with that as well. It's not an atmospheric river, but it does look like a moderate storm next week. Thanks for tuning in. Um, here are a couple links. Follow us on Twitter if you'd like to use social media or just go to weather.gov San Diego to check out the latest forecasts for this cold, snowy uh, holiday weekend weather.